Hello everyone, today I'm gonna talk about the Scourge build for World vs World. Here on Curses I take Insidious Disruption instead of Plague Sending because I prefer it and um, I think transferring two conditions every 25 seconds is kinda worthless. Also you might not have conditions since it often happens that uh, you activate your F5 when you are in range and so you don't have conditions. It is better to cover some condi clans from uh, enemies. For example, they can remove torment, this stack of torment you apply to them instead of immobilize. And so they die to the immobilize. And uh, since you have a lot of uh, disables and interrupts, I think this is better. Here we have Path of Corruption, which is very strong since your F2 now can convert a boon in conditions and this combined with feed from corruption you get very very many boons a lot of boons as you will see if you try it then here lingering curse for the scepter 3 of course becoming aoe and removing one boon from any enemy hit on soul reaping I'm going for unyielding blast since I don't run stuff. If you run stuff, you can go for soul marks. And then you go soul barbs because 10% damage is a really huge buff, and the other traits are uh, kind of bad in general. And for last trait, that per that perception, since 300 ferocity is 20 more percent damage when you crit, and also the 33% critical chance increase is really really huge when you have you when you press your f5 you do 33% more criticals on scourge i run abrasive grit since you apply some barrier on f3 and on your healing skill so you can give might and remove condition from yourself and from your allies then sadistic searing basically not the best trait but it uh, reduces the cooldown of your heal of your trail of anguish and of your ghastly breach and the other two traits are uh, really bad so yeah the burning is almost worthless but it's okay then the last trait here you could run send savant but it's still two targets and it's just a little bit bigger shade so I don't think this is worth it the small shade you can cast many shades and then you press F2 F3 on all of them and you affect up to six enemies and if you're in the blob eight enemies so I think it's just better the skills are sand flare well, this is a boon corrupt, it's very strong, applies a big barrier to yourself and your allies and also heals a bit only on yourself. It's, it should be used before engagements or when you are inside the blob and the commander asks you to bunker up here. And uh, when you bunker up, <coughs> you can give barriers so your, uh, your allies can heal in the meanwhile while, while you are covered by the barrier. Then we have Well of Suffering, well, it's one of the strongest spells of Necromancer. It's unblockable, dark field, huge damage, huge vulnerability, 5 seconds, 6 seconds, 5 targets, it's, uh, it's really strong. The highest damage spell, yeah, unless you run stuff, stuff 4, maybe it's better. <coughs> then we have Trail of Anguish, this one should be used as a stun break if you need but mostly I prefer to use it when the commander uh, calls for a double dodge inside the enemy blob. You activate this while blobbing 